From August to September, snub-nosed monkeys living in the Keenling Mountains put on a face-changing show of a sort. During this period, regardless of gender, age, or family name, each has a blackened mouth. The face-changing drama starts with the spotted nutcracker's chirps. When pine nuts gradually ripen in August, spotted nutcrackers are always the first to notice. Restless birds remind the monkeys of the forthcoming gluttonous feast. Pine nuts are the seeds of pines wrapped in the cones. Rich in fats and other nutrients, pine nuts are the monkeys' favorite snacks. Cones can easily be obtained, but the delicious pine nuts demand a price. The pine's foliage and cones contain sticky resin. To eat pine nuts, the monkeys need to chew off the cone's peel. As a result, a lot of resin sticks on their lips. It oxidizes and turns black, sticking firmly to the fur to render the diners clowns. As they roam about in the pine forest, their smooth golden bodies can't escape the black resin. During this period, they carry an aroma of perfume, a natural pine scent, though they look sloppy. Having had a belly full of greasy pine nuts, this one comes to the river to drink. It may not feel disfigured by the blackened mouth. Even at the river, it doesn't even bother to wash its face. In fact, the resin can't be washed off. Pine resin is very greasy and sticky on the fur. When pine nuts are no longer unavailable in winter for some time, the resin falls off, restoring their handsome appearance. The blackened mouth is the foodie's label of snub-nosed monkey troops. Wearing the black mask is for a good reason. Pine nuts provide enough energy for the monkeys to grow thick subcutaneous fat quickly ahead of the frigid winter. <laughs> 